Usually we have 2D barcodes, like a QR code mm -hmm. is a 2D. Now you can have a 2D plus one mm, barcode. barcode. You we have an ocarina of time. Yes. Physicists at the University of Colorado Boulder have created the first time crystal that humans can actually see using liquid crystals that swirl into a never ending pattern when illuminated by light. They put out their paper in Nature Materials. There were specialized quantum systems that could do this, right? There were nuclear spins, trapped ions, cold cold atoms at extremely low temperatures. This paper is very cool because it's doing it in a classical system, mm. which means no quantum weirdness. Mm -hmm. And it's doing it at room temperature. Wow. And it's doing it at a big enough scale that we can see with our naked eye. And and like, okay, you might be thinking, okay, this is like, this is cool, right? Then I got into reading about the applications. The applications for this are like, like science fiction to me, okay? Most of them have to do with like cryptography and security. Okay, first one I'll tell you about. Imagine we make this thing cheap. We can stick it on a dollar bill. As a, as a cryptographic as a, signature. Now, if you want to test whether your Benjamin is a real Benjamin, you take your iPhone flashlight, stick it on there. It's going to have this pattern, mm -hmm. right? So you know that strip that's yes. on the Benjamin? We can have that strip be a time crystal that like, like literally yes. like propagates. And then you'll know, okay, that's a real one. It has a signature that only... And it's the... going to be so hard to duplicate. Right, right. Right, right. Th that, that's that's so cool. No, that's very. I, this that's actually really. Yeah, really and the other one is like two D. Like now you can have a two D plus one mm, barcode. barcode. You can have you can have um a QR code that is two D, and then when you shine a light on it, the QR code itself changes mm -hmm. into different QR codes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can have multiple QR codes on top, top right. that have different periodicities. Mm -hmm. So that like let's say one is like two seconds and the other one is three seconds and the other one is five seconds yes. well then the next time that it's going to become a full qr code is going to be five times three times two which is 30 right yes. yeah. so you're gonna have to wait 30 seconds to get the actual qr code right you can you can imagine you've 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 like you've introduced a whole new dimension yes to, uh, to um, security a, a manipulatable dimension yeah and 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 the whole point is this is this is at room temperature right and it's Macroscopic. macroscopic it's There's something a, i can see and the reason why that's material is that means the, the 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 transition from theoretical to production application yeah no it's an engineering problem <laughs> it doesn't need a power source you just need to put it on there the power source is the light, light that i'm going to shine on it the, it's kind of cool i'm seeing from the uh, from the abstract here uh their potential uh, techno uh technological utility includes optical devices photonic space-time crystal generators telecommunications, anti-counterfeiting design, yeah. 